they're being um, treated rudely. Um, people are sharing their home information. A group of local doctors are outraged over the treatment of San Diego's public health officer, Dr. Wilma Wooten. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Pena. And I'm Steve Atkinson. They claim that no one came to her defense when her home address was made public during a Board of Supervisors meeting. As ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala explains, Wooten is one of several public figures facing intimidation during this pandemic. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's fair. Let's go back to personal choice. And for everyone who thinks Wooten is doing a good job, you know, feel free to give a high five or send her a letter. Her address is Away. This is the incident that's sparking outrage in the medical community. During public comment at a Board of Supervisors meeting, a caller criticized the county's public health officer, Dr. Wilma Wooten, and then blasted Wooten's home address twice. We feel that it's strongly that the Board of Supervisors, we would hope, would um, condemn this sort of behavior. Dr. Holly Yang is the president of the San Diego County Medical Society. The group sent a letter to the County Board of Supervisors saying the supervisors failed to protect or defend Dr. Wooten. They say there was no effort to terminate public testimony and called this a failure of leadership. Stand up for Dr. Wooten um, and, and make sure that she is not subject to these type of behavior and immediately cut it off, say that it's unacceptable and, and protect her. But Thursday, many of the supervisors were quick to respond. Supervisor Jim Desmond says the incident was unfortunate and uncalled for. I apologize to the medical society if we didn't do the right thing at the right time. Dr. Wooten's doing a great job and she did not deserve any sort of a, attack or, or outlash against her. Supervisor Kristen Gaspar said there's no excuse for personal attacks or sharing personal information. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher, who is the co-chair of the county's COVID-19 subcommittee and works closely with Wooten, says Dr. Wooten has earned and deserves our respect. Supervisor Greg Cox, who's also on that committee, says he condemns what happened and thinks Dr. Wooten has done an outstanding job. He went on to say, as a public agency, we cannot block speakers from using their First Amendment right to make comments at our meetings. Comments made at the board meeting are live and the remarks made the other day happened too quickly for us to prevent them from going out over the air. He also went on to say they redacted Wooten's personal information from the archived video. Dr. Wooten, we um, know you have a hard job. We respect you. We support you. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. We also asked the county for a comment from Dr. Wilma Wooten herself. We have not received an answer on that request.